Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. It's been a little bit of time since my last video. Apologies, apologies. You know, that summer laziness just keeps creeping in. But here we are, as promised. You know, you always know I'll be back. I mean, I might go on little little vacations for a bit where I don't post for a while, but you know I'll be back. You know I'll always be back for you guys here on the lovely site of the Kerbal Space Center. So I think today we're going to take a little break from our space exploration. Let's explore some of these uh, temperature oh, contracts, man. which I haven't done yet. The temperature scans of Kerbin. <laughs> they want us to measure the temperature on the surface of this site, T0W1, for a nice 7,900 credits. Measure temperature in flight below 19,000 meters near this Barcelona's recklessness. Hopefully we won't be reckless. And measure the temperature in flight below 16.5 meters of zone 7VZ-79. Rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? For some total rewards of 27,000 completion, less just the advanced completion 50,000, plus all these other ones here. Which to us at this point is kind of just a drop in the bucket. But you know, as promised, some of you guys said you really wanted to see some of these other little Kerbin contracts. And you know, I figured to spice it up a little bit, we, we can do some of these things. Now this, I know you can't really see it too well, this is our Kerbin continent, the KK, the Kerbin continent, and here are the three locations that we need to get to. This is Barcelona's rec recklessness, that's the zone 7B, blah 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 blah, blah. and this is TOW1. I think what I'll do first is I'll fly south over here to this one over here, T0W1, we'll get that one first, then I'll go a little bit east and grab that one <clears throat> and then I'll come back north and hit that one and then we can come on home so let's do it so here we are in the airplane hangar and I've loaded up a little bit of a revision of the Kerbin Cruiser I've now entitled it the Kerbin Cruiser Mark II and as you can see there's some notable differences between this one and the original Kerbin Cruiser which is right here and I don't know if you can tell from the little images it's a little bit lighter weight this one has a little more lift service. It kind of looks a little silly, but I didn't have any other kind of lift service to put in the front. But as you can see, I basically shifted the center of lift a little further forward to meet the center of mass a little better. Before, that blue center of lift was kind of back here a little too much and didn't have as much lift in the front. It was kind of hard to get off the ground. Um, some other differences are I have put on two air brakes because I feel like it'll be a little easier to brake now and make my life a little easier. Because you know me, I can't fly these space planes to save my life. I've also changed the front landing gear out to one of these small landing gears. But I kept the back ones because I really don't have any other space. I don't have much space to put these uh, back here anywhere. So I kept these and it's fine. I tested it. It still lands most of the time. But that's what's important, right? Most of the time it'll land correctly. Um, and all underneath the 30 part count limit for the, the Tech 1 landing, or the Tech 1 air space plane hangar. So I feel pretty good about this design. Feel free to copy it. Um, I think if you watch my my Umon's ring survey, I think I show you how to build this craft, but you can take a look at it. Basically, you got your Mark 1 cockpit, Science Junior up here. You got one of these uh, fuel tanks over here, this one right here, the FLT400 with a shorter one attached to it back here. Standard jet engine, the wings I put like this. Standard wing, standard elevons, standard, you know, the rest of it is all history. You know, you could see it right here. Also, because I'm kind of a noob at landing, I put on two parachutes. Just in case something starts to go all to hell and back, we can uh, put the parachutes up and it'll be just fine. So, that's our design. Um, yeah. Let's get going, huh? Well, who's piloting this thing anyway? Jeb. Let's see. Valentina's got her two stars. So let's get let Jeb get another little star there. Maybe, maybe this this mission will put him over the top there. Who knows? Here we are on the runway, and I'm just gonna hit the brakes just so we stop rolling backwards. And yes, I still have the ghetto runway. I actually haven't. Uh, put any money into this thing as of yet. So far I've been dumping all my funds into the space exploration, not so much the Kerbin Aeronautics exploration. You can see those those uh, air brakes looking quite nice back there, fanning out. Almost looks like a kind of like an X-wing of some sort. But 
Anyways, here we are. Let's take the brake off and let's get this thing started. We are basically going to be heading right to the west. I know I shouldn't do this while I'm not looking, but we're going to head to the west first for landing site T0W1. Good, we're still alive. Oh, this thing takes up like a beaut. This thing is a beauty. It's a thing of beauty. Pull that landing gear in. Whoops. Not too shabby, eh? So let's see how she flies. Let's turn her around a little bit. She turns really well. Almost too well. Yeah, there's the moon right up there. It's a pretty cool shot. Just even her out so we don't crash and burn. Good job, Jeb. Nice and smooth. If you're if you're new to this channel and you haven't seen my other videos, you'll you'll soon see that I can't pilot space planes to save my life. And when I kind of do successfully do it, it's kind of a stroke of luck. But it doesn't look too too nice. It's kind of sloppy. It's a little bit sloppy, but that's okay. All right, let's uh, activate the nav on this one. T zero W one. I believe the surface. Yep. So I gotta go down to the surface of this sector here. And I believe it's it's right before the Yuman's the Yuman ring. So that's good. At least it's not fully in the mountains. It's probably going to be somewhere in that little a little flat land right over there. That's my guess. I love that. You can see uh, moon and Minmus. Very nice. I think I'll take a couple screenshots. You can see I'm approaching the cloud layer. I don't really want to go above that cloud layer just because, um, well, it's, it gets cloudy. You can't really see, right? We had a nice early morning here on Planet Kerbin. I'm just going to start lowering down the thrust now as we are getting close to that mark. We do have to head a little bit this way, actually. So I, I had assumed it was over here, but as I'm getting close to it, it's actually more towards there. That's kind of weird that it's saying I'm heading that way. We're heading obviously straight at it. This thing is lying. Lies, I say. Lies and slander. Watch. Knowing my luck, it's going to be in this bumpy, rocky area. It's going to be right around here somewhere. Basically, it's saying I'm Pretty much flying right over it. Did I miss the? Uh, did I miss it telling me I made it? I must have. I must have missed it. It's got to be around here somewhere, right? I mean, I'm basically right over it. Now I'm in. Okay, now we're in the zone. And we're leaving the zone. Oh man, this is a tight window we have. Where can I land? We have a tight window here, boys and girls. Don't stall. Don't stall. We don't want to stall. We gotta land on the side of the mountain here. That can't be safe. Might have to do this. Oh. 
Got the gear, silly me. <laughs> but, you know, we made it, right? That's a landing. Temperature log. Ooh, look at that. Alright, we did it. We got it. Okay. Good. We don't have to necessarily keep that data. We can always get rid of it on the next one. But <laughs> That is a landing. And right there, that is a hot Jupiter maneuver. So if you're new to the channel, this happens quite often. Welcome. <laughs> Alright. So next we have to go, and let's do this one. Barcelona's Recklessness. That should be named Hot Jupiter's Recklessness, because that's basically what that is. Take the brakes off, and we'll just, we'll just, oh god, I hope we can get this thing off the air, off the ground. What do you think, Jeb? Can we do it? Yeah, we could do, oh, look at that. That is, that is a beautiful, beautiful thing right there. Alright, let's pull her in. I think we have to go over these mountains now, don't we? Yeah, we basically have to turn around. Oh, there's my cell phone beeping and blipping. So we basically have to go over there. We do want to get up and over these mountains. Well, we did use our only two parachutes, but you know, that's okay. I feel like the other ones won't be so bad because we can take those scans from uh, in, in the air, basically. Like, let's say, for example, Barcelona's recklessness, we have to be below 19,000. That's really easy. Technically, we are below 19,000 right now, so... All we gotta do, basically, is just get there. Again, I'm not sure how accurate these little lines are. I feel like we're heading that way, but it's telling us we're going that way. I don't, I don't really know. I don't know. Let's just climb a little bit higher. How we doing on resources? Pretty good. Good fuel. I don't think we'll have any fuel troubles. And the air is getting a little thin, but we don't really have to go much higher. So I feel alright about our resources. But now it looks like it's starting to straighten out now. It's kind of starting to figure out where we're going. It's going to point us more or less at that area. We are in the clouds. Oh, there's the Yuman ring. Alpha and Beta Yuman. I should have put a flag over there where the uh, where we just were, but ah heck. That's okay. I'm pretty sure that these sites are like randomly and procedurally generated. Pretty sure they are. If they aren't, oops, don't yell at me. <laughs> and we are certainly in the clouds now. Let's get a little bit higher. If you're also new to the channel and you're wondering what, what uh, weather pack this is, this is the Astronomer's Visual Pack, Edge of Oblivion version. A lot of people ask me what it, it looks different than the one I'm using, Hot Jupiter, and I always say, well, make sure that the one you're using is Edge of Oblivion. That was the version right before Interstellar came out. Now, Interstellar doesn't really work too well on uh, my computer. For whatever reason, I, it just keeps crashing. So, hopefully, speaking of crashing, I can't even tell where the mountain is anymore. <laughs> we got this, this cloud right here. Could be daring a little bit. Let's do a little dive. Hopefully the mountain won't smack us in the face. That's terrifying. That's scary. I guess that is the one negative aspect about the clouds, is that you can't see the terrain sometimes. But I consider that a plus. It's more realistic that way, you know? Plus it just looks so damn good. Doesn't it look good? I can't get over how good that looks. This game needs clouds. If, if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred million times. The, the native version of this game needs weather. It's like, visually at least, I think, in my opinion, the last thing it does need. Well, not, not the last thing it needs, but it's like, it's it would be like the cherry on top to this already perfect game if we could just get a little, little clouds in there so I can stop installing mods. <laughs> not that I have any problems with mods, but you know how mods are. Every time there's an update, it breaks it and you have to redo it. But luckily with Astronomer's Visual, I don't really have to ever update it. It works with basically any version of KSP. I'm now until okay, we're entering the recklessness. Got it. 
Got him. All right, we got the recklessness. Wasn't wasn't too reckless, luckily. Luckily, we didn't get too reckless with it. Let's go on, and now we got to do this one. So we got to turn a little bit to the right, or a little bit to the north, the northeast. I just love those like those uh, G-force effects. I'm not talking about the graphics card G-force. I mean like the G-force. That rumbly, the little rumblies. Next, we're flying over here to Flood Dynamics Research Labs. Of course, if you go there, I'm pretty sure there's nothing there on the ground. They're just saying it's the research labs. Now, that would be cool if they did add that in a future update where uh, you could actually see, like, the lab or whatever you're flying, flying over. That would be pretty nice. Again, I'm just checking the resources. We're pretty good on everything. Power is good. Fuel is good. Intake is good. Quite a lovely area this is. Let's go a little lower just so we don't get the clouds distorting everything. <laughs> Poor Jeb. If he was really in this cockpit, he would not be happy with that maneuver I just did. We just pulled about 10 G's. Sorry, Jeb. Jeb's reckless. He kind of actually likes it. He likes that kind of thing. We should be just about there any minute now. One thing I do not like those those random explodey type sounds that I keep hearing. I'm sure you guys are hearing it too. Those random like <sighs> makes me feel like the aircraft is blowing up. I don't like to feel like my aircraft that I made is blowing up. It's like my baby, you know? There it is again, see? I don't like that. That needs to change. You hear me, squad? Change that. I can yell at squad because they don't watch my videos, probably. <laughs> they probably don't even know them. I'm, I'm not even on their radar, so it's okay. Should be just about there. over the... yep, here it is. Got it! Alright, that's it, that's us, we can go home now. Let's take a look. Contract complete, we get 50,000 for completing that, plus all the other little in-between in ones. 7,000 7, here, 7,000 there, 7,000 there. Not bad, not bad. So now we just have to get this thing home. So I do believe we have to start heading due south, southeast at least, somewhere in this direction. Yeah, this some, this type of direction right here should take us back home. We'll go over the big mountain, past the Yumon Rings, and we should be there. We'll probably have to edit a bunch of this video out because a lot of just dead air, just flying. Just a lot of flying. It's fun though. I like these little pilot missions where you're zipping around curbing in a little jet plane. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I do believe that is the KSC right there. So we're going to have to cut in a little bit this way once we get there. That's fine. Jeb can handle it. Jeb's an expert pilot. Right, Jeb? I was hoping he'd give me the thumbs up, but he didn't. Oh well. Whoa, I'm actually picking up a little, uh, little air airspeed things here. I forget what those things are called. That's fine though. Kind of makes us look cool, right? We're like zipping along. We're like, Neow! going through hyperspace or something. I have a very active imagination. Should have been an astronaut. Alright, we are on approach. Curb and get ready to accept us on the landing pad. Runway, whatever you call it. <laughs> the landing pad. Here we come. I'm just going to cut that thrust right down. I'm actually going to start air braking. 
X-Wing style. I kind of like that. Looks From the back, it looks like an X-Wing. I kind of tricked myself into believing I'm flying an X-Wing. I'm sure someone's actually built an X-Wing in this game, and that's pretty neat. Coming in, 400 meters up, pretty much straight on, 60 meters per second, it's a little fast for my taste, but not for Jeb, Jeb likes that kind of thing, he's like 60, that's too slow, I could do it way faster, but you know, there's protocols and that kind of thing, he doesn't want to lose his pilot's license. Heck, I might even, I might even land before I even get there. Yep, probably will. <laughs> and once again, we have a perfect hot Jupiter landing. He sticks the landing. Of course, here's what I forgot to do: put on the landing gear again. Oh, I wonder how many dislikes I'm going to get for that little stunt. I can't wait to see. But, uh, hey, you know what? Contract complete, so zero Fs given over here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and... Oh, that's right. We have to recover the vessel. Let's do it. Let's see what we get. Well, we actually know what we're going to get already. We got the 50,000 plus... Eh, probably ended up being 75,000, something like that. Didn't get a whole lot of parts left. That's okay. The crew survived. We got some money. And we completed the mission. That's what's important. Right, Jeb? Right. Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Next time... Let's see. What are we going to do next time? Build a surface outpost on Minmus. What is that? Seriously? Build an outpost for the agents that could support five kerbals in the surface. That's a new one. I've never heard that one before. That sounds actually really freaking cool. Also, orbiter stations. Mm -hmm. We'll do mm -hmm. one of these things. Bunch of different contracts to pick. We'll probably pick one of them. But I guess you'll have to find out in the next episode of Kerbal Space Program. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you then.